go green. There we go. Good morning, Facebook. Uh, Adam Sawyer, professional gentleman of leisure, uh, back on Sunday morning. And the, today I am with Teresa Saya. Did I get it? Got awesome. Nailed it. Stuck awesome, the landing. Adam. I've been I've been abusing people's names all weekend. <laughs> Got it. That's, that's right. And I finally, I finally got one right, right off the bat. Teresa Saya, thank you so much for taking the time this Absolutely. morning to let me come by oh, and course. invade your, your workspace. Well, you're going to about to get invaded again all, right. all day yeah. today. It's a fun day. It's a super fun day. Uh, speaking of, you know, today is Sunday. It's the last day of the uh, Would Be Working Artist Open Studio Tour. Yes. Speaking of a studio, this place is phenomenal, and I'm going to show you guys. We'll get a little a little tour from Teresa here shortly. Okay. But uh, introducing Teresa Saya, and so you are based out of where here on the island? Uh, we're we're in Freeland. I'm in Freeland, uh, which is a beautiful spot. It's the south part of the island, and it's kind of in between Green Bank and Langley. It's and Clinton is a little bit further south, but gorgeous really spot, a man. lovely, we kind of, um, Freeland goes between both sides of the water. So you've got Holmes Harbor on the east mm -hmm. and we're over here on the west side. Yeah. You picked a, you picked a, pretty, a lovely spot. It's very pastoral. <laughs> so, uh, you, a lot of inspiration around here and speaking of inspiration, uh, what kind of medium do you transpose that, uh, that inspiration into? What do you, you know, work with? My, right now I do quite a bit of dry pigment pastel. Yeah. And um, dry pigment pastel is pure dry pigment with a little bit of binder. Is so, that what this is? Yes. So this is this is all all of these in this group in here are dry pigment pastel. It's gorgeous. Well, thank you. And it's not chalk, right? No, I just no, learned no, that. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no chalk in. A lot of people walk in and because they're in in the form of sticks, yeah, they are thinking that it's chalk. Right. And there's no chalk in there, so it's pure dry pigment with a little bit of binder. There's no oil and there's no wax. And so the light refraction qualities that you see are those pure uh, crystals of pigment sitting on the surface of the paper. And there's a couple of things technically, scientifically, that have really helped pastels have mm -hmm. a renaissance now because pastels have always been uh, a beautiful medium. Yeah. But um, a lot of people had used papers that were, were are, uh, not archival. Okay. So the pastels themselves are archival, but they were done on papers that had acid in them. So would that and mute so, them? or? Uh, well, no, it would, the paper would de deteriorate over oh. a period of time. Okay. So the most important thing about pastels is that um, they're framed. They, there's no worries about being fugitive, but they need to be framed properly um, and need to be behind glass. Oh. So. And but, so you've got special glass, special right. Everything. So I use museum glass on mine, which is um, uh, a very expensive glass, but it's um, UV and reflection control, which is which is very nice. And then there's a spacer put in there. So um, pastels really are a type of medium that you can do so much with. Yeah. And you know your approach, your textures, your vibrancies, your edge quality. Is just so exciting to work with. And when you guys see some of the the, the <laughs> art, you'll see the proof is in the pudding here when we take a, a stroll take around the her. studio. But you also do uh, other mediums yes. as well. Yes, I did watercolor originally for 15 years. Wow! And loved it. I, I you know I did it professionally, but um, and I also do oils now. And I'm a, somewhat of a printmaker. With you're all over, you're so all over the board. Like, <laughs> But well, that's good. That's why your title for today, as you guys can see up on the screen, is artist. Yeah, <laughs> Where it works in all the all different mediums, and so we we spoke a little bit about inspiration. Uh, how do you pick uh, a, a, a scene um, okay. or a topic or a, 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 you know what you're going to? Pick? You know, I love a, a couple of different things. Yeah. I love tree shapes mm. for my landscapes. I love tree shapes. And I love water shapes. And what happens is, is that you're able to bring abstracted shapes into the foreground of a painting mm. with the use of the water. And I like to do a lot of low light scenes, some yeah. evening scenes or early morning golden scenes. Hours, golden hours. Golden hour yeah. type of thing. And so, you know, there's a lot of darker value shapes in that. And right. to have that light coming down into the foreground is really a, a wonderful process. But my inspiration, I go and walk my dogs, uh -huh. 
you know, two miles a day, yeah. and anywhere around here you can find inspiration. It's God, just ain't, ain't that fabulous. the way? So, speaking of that, too, so Whidbey <laughs> Island is clearly an inspiration for a lot of artists. Yeah. Yeah. And actually, I was, I was just talking with your husband uh, before we got going about different islands, uh, yeah. the Keys, the Florida Keys, which is a place we both spent right. some time. So islands draw art, draw artists, they're inspirational, but is there something specific or special about Whitby Island that you think you know, really fosters that sort of thing? I think that it's always been a haven for artists, yeah. but in the last 10 years, there's just an amazing amount of artists of all types, whether it's musicians mm -hmm. or writers or uh, sculptors or glass blowers or whatever right. it is, they're here and it's a very warm environment. I mean, people are so engaging here. Um, the interaction between artists, um, we have a group called the Island Bohemians, uh -huh. and it's a great group. So that's a mixture of all of these art forms. Just like supporting each yes, other. supporting and... each other. And that's one of the things, I was in the city for a long time. I had yeah. a beautiful studio in Seattle for 20 years, but I, was, I felt so isolated even among all these people. Here on the island, we have little salons. We have mm -hmm. uh, once or twice a month, people open up their studios. Right. And uh, we can all talk to each other and find inspiration also in that. I love so. how you said that, how it's warm. It's like the it's artist so community warm. here is a nice blanket. Oh, yes. A little I mean, shawl that so, Nana made. That right, we're, so, um, <laughs> we're so willing to um, help one another. So, yeah. you know, if I'm stuck with something, something right. about business or something about my work or whatever, There's you know, someone. I can call on friends that are like, right there yeah. in a heartbeat to oh, like, awesome. yeah, Teresa, I think I can help you out with this one. That's awesome. So, yeah. Well, that's that's great. That's one of my favorite answers so far about what <laughs> makes Woodby Islands. It's warm. Yes. Well, let's take a look at some of your art. Okay. I am going to go into switcheroo mode. Okay. Pew. I will follow you around okay. if you want to okay. show us some pieces. So this is actually a work in progress here. So you can see one of the things that's really fabulous about uh, pastels these days is we have a wonderful papers that hold layers and layers of pastel and it doesn't fall off, mm -hmm. right? So that's one of the, the scientific developments for us. This one here is a very Northwest scene. It's from the Skagit Valley, which is north of oh, Whidbey yeah. Island. One of my favorite haunts. Um, I teach up there a couple of times a year. And um, again, that beautiful, I, what I really love is capturing that late evening glow just mm -hmm. before or just after the sun has set and bringing those abstracted shapes of the light down into the foreground. Here. Gorgeous. And then this is another, this is another fun. This is called Sunset Dance. And this is a little bit more abstracted than some of my works. But, you know, I started it as a normal landscape and all of a sudden it just came into being. I love that. There. So, um, let's walk on over here. Um, let's see. And these are your Oh, these wonderful... are my pastels. Yeah. These are my... <laughs> I love this these. Is my, we, we call it a disease, you know, the collection <laughs> of pastels. You can never have too many, right? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so this here is part of um, a, uh, a, a series they called Dappled Light. And so this inspiration actually came from Santa Fe, the Cottonwoods in Santa Fe, oh, yeah. the creek that I'm familiar with. These are two. I travel to, um, to Italy. I teach in Italy uh, once a year. And this is a, a scene from one of my trips there. This is a very, uh, you know, Skagit Valley again, Whidbey Island, just water and a beautiful. I live on Moonrise Lane. Yes. So <laughs> I'm all about, I'm all about that. This is, a, this is an oil painting here. This is an oil that I've done. So I do do oils. And this is a, a lovely scene north on the island that has a wetland area on it. Beautiful. Thank you. And then here's, uh, here's, here's another one here. This one is um, of Deer Lagoon, which is one oh, of yeah. the places that I walk with my dogs all the time. So this is just a loose study of um, down there with all the wetlands and the distant clouds. Gorgeous. Yeah. Well, thank you very oh, much. Absolutely. I'm going to go back into switcheroo mode okay. and tell everybody, remind everybody that we are... Uh, in the middle, or actually the last day, it's Sunday, where it's yes. the last day of the Whitby uh, Working Artist Open Studio Tour. 
That's, that's a mouthful. I know. That's, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it's alphabet soup for yours truly. Uh, and come on out. Uh, come on out today. You can come see Teresa. You can see everybody else in their studio uh, working, drawing inspiration, talk about their craft, talk about what, what uh, makes them tick and, and watch them get after it. Uh, if you can't make it out today, you can go to WhitbyWorkingArtist.com and download that brochure. And, and you can see some of the art uh, that we've been looking at today and all the art from around the island. Uh, thank you guys very much for tuning in. Uh, we've got one more interview, 1030, I believe. We're going to be doing some stone art, and that's going to be uh, fantastic. So thanks again to Teresa Saya. Thank you very much. And uh, uh, we'll see you guys in about an hour or so. Enjoy. Oh, that was...